good morning students today we will study lesson 13 air and water children have you ever wondered what makes your kite fly in the sky yes it is air first of all what is air air is a mixture of gases surrounding the earth and air is everywhere okay now tell me can you see air no we cannot see air but we can feel only when it moves so to feel the presence of air let us do a very simple activity take a piece of paper and fold it to make a fan as you can see in the picture and use the fan do you feel the air yes the leaves of the plants are moving can you tell me what makes the leaf move yes the air the leaves are moving because of air all around us now there are three forms of air and they are wind breeze and storm so first is wind what is wind moving air is called wind next is breeze what is breeze gently moving wind is called breeze and the next one is storm so what is storm fast moving wind is called storm storms are very dangerous they uproot trees and damages houses next is ingredients or components of air air is a mixture of gases it contains gases like oxygen which we breathe in and carbon dioxide which we breathe out it also contains water vapor dust and germs now children can you tell me why should we wash our hands before eating even if you have not touched anything dirty yes because air contains dust and germs next is uses of air first air provides the gas that living things need for breathing for example animals take in oxygen and plants take in carbon dioxide from the air living things also release the waste gas into the air second wind helps to move sailboats and windmills third air also helps birds to fly in the sky it helps in the movement of aeroplanes helicopters gliders and in flying kites fourth air also dries our clothes faster cool air makes us comfortable now dear children air and water both are most essential need for all living things to live so we should we have already learned about air now now we will learn about water okay so first tell me on which planet do we live yes we live on the earth and this is and this is a earth now can you see this blue color portion this shows water so it covers about 3/4 part of earth's surface and because of this our earth is also called as blue planet okay all living things need water to survive we use it for various purposes like drinking bathing cleaning etc water is present in all the three forms in nature as ice on mountains as water in rivers oceans seas lakes etc and as water vapor in air next is states of water we have already studied the three states of water solid ice liquid water and gas steam or water vapor these states change from one form to another 
the process of fast conversion that means change of liquid to gas is called boiling the process of change of liquid that is water into gas means steam is called evaporation boiling is different from evaporation as boiling is faster process while evaporation is a very slow process next is water cycle in nature water keeps on changing its form continuously through evaporation and condensation the sun's heat up the earth this heat changes water in the rivers seas lakes and ocean to water vapor as the water vapor rises up they cool and become tiny drops of water these droplets collect around dust particles in air to form clouds the tiny droplets of water in a cloud come together and join to form large water drops when clouds become full and heavy these droplets fall on the ground as rain the rain water runs back into the rivers seas ocean etc this process goes on continuously and is called the water cycle children water cycle is the process by which water circulates between the sky and the earth in a continuous cycle